Lord, you teach us in many different ways that wisdom is better than knowledge. And so today, Lord, as we pray about walking in wisdom, I pray, Lord, that you would help us to put down our knowledge, put down the intellect, put down our studies and our knowledge of you and open our hearts up afresh to who you are and how you are calling us to walk in your wisdom, not our own, but your wisdom. We're reading through Ephesians 5, starting from verse 15 and finishing at verse 21. It reads, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another in the fear of God. Lord, we choose to walk in your wisdom today. Lord, we choose to digest what your wisdom is, to meditate on that wisdom, and to allow your wisdom to penetrate our minds and hearts. Lord, it's so easy to think that we're knowledgeable, that we know the right way, that we are the ones that are the masters of our own lives. But Lord, as you've shown us again and again and again in scripture, Lord God, we are not the masters of our own lives, you are. Lord, you are God in heaven, Lord, and you're the one that gives us breath. And you're also the one, Lord, that controls our days and ends our days. And Lord, here you remind us that we need to walk as you want us to walk in your wisdom. Because we actually don't know how many days we have. But you do, Lord. And Lord, you remind us here, Lord, that the days are evil. Sometimes it's so easy to be wrapped up in doing certain things despite the fact that they take us away from you lord there's so many things that are enticing there's so many distractions lord that are all around us lord that take up so much of our time today lord would you help us to identify those distractions lord and to put them away so that we can really understand that each day is precious each day is given to us by you to fulfill what you want fulfilled in that day lord help us to understand that the days are evil and lord in those days we need to seek you for what we should do in our day lord where we are spending hours and hours and hours doing things where we perhaps are wasting our time lord would you cut off every wasted day would you cut off every wasted hour lord would you show us what we need to put down lord would you make us humble enough to put things down that we need to put down lord we don't want to walk as those of who are fools lord those who have no understanding no idea who just waste their lives lord in dissipation lord waste their lives in drunkenness lord in gossip in illicit behavior that apparently seems to be so enticing but reaps so much destruction lord instead you're calling us here to focus our days on what you deem to be wise and lord you tell us here what is wise that we should pray lord that we should speak to each other and we should exhort each other, we should encourage each other, not with our own wisdom, but with your godly wisdom. Lord, we should enjoy singing songs, spiritual songs, worshipping you, Lord, corporately. Lord, giving thanks, engaging in thanksgiving for all the wonderful things that you do in our lives. And above all, Lord, you're calling us to be wise in deciding to submit to how you've called us to live. Lord, there's so much to digest here and there's so much, Lord, that we always say, yeah, we're doing this and we're doing that and we're doing it well. But really, Lord, only you are the judge of what is well and what is not well. So, Lord, today where we've planned our lives, we've planned our days, I pray that you would intervene. Lord, you would illuminate to us what is a waste of time, what is wasting our time. 
and what is beneficial to us. Lord, help us to walk as you want us to walk. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you, Lord, and we just desire to follow you in spirit and in truth. Lord, fill us afresh with your Holy Spirit. Cover us, Lord. Penetrate our hearts and minds. Renew us, Lord, daily, minute by minute, hour by hour, Lord. Work on our minds so that our behaviour, our walk, our conduct lines up with your will and your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you for who you are. Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen.